Hey guys, it's Habs, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking on weekly pack number 73. And this pack is designed around giving as much health to your team as possible. However, there is a sneaky pet that turns everything on its head. In this run, we use the hyena to turn the lionfish from useless to useful and wipe out the opposing team. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you do, maybe like and subscribe. But with all of that said, let's jump in. You, you never know. We might, we might just nick this one. We might just nick this one as a draw. Not when you have this though. Although that's, that's good for us. Oh, perfect. Perfect. We managed to win with the ducklings. Keeping the duck, having the ducklings available to us. Now we just need a level up. Now we just need a level up. Um, I'll be happy to bring a spider. There's the level up. And we're going to level into you. Let's do this. Sell you. I mean, I should really... Let's do this. I mean, I should really try and sell the duck as well onto you. But I... The extra one's not going to be too much of a problem. Um, let's do something like this. We'll hold the lemur. In fact, we could hold both lemurs. Sure. And we're running like this. Okay. Guinea fowl early on is pretty nice. Because just getting just getting the extras, the extra stats in the doggo here, when it comes down, it can really make a difference. Like that. Okay. I think we'll sell the duck now, in all honesty, um, which gives us this, and we'll definitely take the garlic, we'll bring you in, we'll take you, more garlic, sure, and we'll roll, that is a level up, and I'll hold the pill because I know there's blobfish in the pack. Okay, so garlic onto the guinea fowl means the guinea fowl maybe takes a couple more hits. Yeah, so we should be able to tank quite a lot from this duck. And from you. And from you. <laughs> okay, nice. That's worked out really well. We may not even get to see the dog. It's a 16-16. Probably would have soloed that team if it had come down. Okay, so we level you. I mean, the eel would scale really quickly, but I don't think I want it. I'm going to pill the spider. Let's see what we get from this. Okay, a flea's not too bad. Um, now, I'm going to sell you. We're going to buy sell this. Put this onto here. We've got a couple of free rolls. So I might actually take these free rolls and see if we can find something else. This actually pretty good considering we've got a toy. But then we lose the toy next time. So... Actually, I'm going to sell the flea. This seems kind of this seems kind of crazy. But we're going to run it like this. Um, we don't have the free toy next turn. So we're going to run a three squad. I'm just trying to put as many stats as I can onto onto here. We actually this is going to work really really nicely because we're going to get hit here plus we get hit from you. We basically bring down an extra unit anyway. Um, and because we're able to tank so much, we get a 16-16. Okay, so we lose this, but we do get a free roll. Um, I'm going to hold pill just in case. I don't think I want to bring in... Okay, that's a level up for next turn. Let's roll it. There's a blobfish, which I will actually take now. Um, no, actually, no, we won't take now. We may end up losing this one. I'm not going to take this blobfish. I'm going to roll twice and look for another lemur. There's a lemur. That's pretty good as well. In fact, there's a lot of level ups going on next turn. I do, yeah, I think we go here. Like, I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to just put the blobfish in front of something else and just run you right at the front. But I think this will work. We kind of we're kind of missing the garlic, which is a shame. But we will get extra. Like to get a 16-16 is gonna hopefully be enough here. It's enough to get the draw, and all, honestly, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, we're gonna level you. 
moose. And we can level you. Garlic. Okay. This is a... L I mean, we're going to get rid of this. No, we're not. Let's level you. Okay. We've got a lot going on here. Um, we can get rid of this. We'll bring in this alpaca. And we'll bring in this moose. So we can level up the moose next time. Wait a second. The moose is actually... The moose, oh, the, the moose is going to trigger and we're going to lose this. We can't do this. We have to sell the alpaca. And we have to hold this. And we have to roll and hope this isn't a tier one. Okay, good. Because the moose isn't going to trigger this time around, it means that we get to keep this shot. We don't need you. Um, you are just a filler space. So, yeah, we'll run it like this. Put you back here. Um and do something. I mean, it doesn't really matter where we put it, but let's go. So because the moose doesn't trigger, we don't lose the shot, which is key. We cannot be losing that shot. Okay. We get a couple of hits here. We're just going to have to build up a big doggo. <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. Okay. I mean, it's all going so well, but then... <laughs> <laughs> Down comes the 50-50. Pretty nice. So, we want to get a few of these in here. Um, let's level this. And honestly, I think I'm going to do you. Which means that I'm going to bring in this and this. I think you pretty much get most of it done yourself. Um, we're going to lose these. This is fine. We don't need this anymore. Let's send it like so. So you're going to get a few hits. We've got one more to go onto here. So we're only one away from the guinea fowl being the top dog. Okay, a lot of damage, but we do have the 2020 coming down, which nearly gets taken down by the flea. The flea nearly does the dirty on us. Okay, we do lose our garlic, which does kind of suck. Um, so we're going to bring you in. So now where do we go from here? Like, I don't really see the cockroach being around for too long. But we want one more guinea fowl. So let's roll. Croc could do some damage for us. Let's roll again. Hmm. I mean, I could have bought and sold the lemur. That is one thing that I could have done. Like, I think we do this and bring in you. And maybe just make the croc a little bit stronger for now. I, actually, no. I'm just going to roll. There's a guinea fowl. In fact, we've got to do this. Because if we roll again and we find a tier one, we're going to lose the guinea fowl to the moose. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end the turn. In fact, we could just end turn. We don't even need to freeze, freeze these. We'll just end turn on the two. Wait, no, we can find chocolate, right? We can find chocolate. Let's roll these for chocolate, which we don't find. Let's do this, this, and this. End turn. Oh no, I didn't freeze the guinea fowl. No, after all of that, I didn't freeze the guinea fowl. That is um, that is a a mistake. I can confirm that is a mistake that I was not supposed to make. <laughs> Hopefully we find a guinea fowl. <laughs> we don't. Okay. Well, we get it anyway, so it's all good. Um, now, lionfish could be kind of fun. Like, I like the idea of bringing in a lionfish here. Um, like, lose the croc, bring you in, lose this, bring in the lionfish. And then we can roll. And roll again. There's another moose. Which we're going to lose because of the one. So that's fine. Yep, we'll send it like this. Okay. I can't believe I didn't I didn't, uh, didn't freeze that guinea fowl. I mean, it didn't really make a difference. It was just one roll later we found the chocolate. But kind of funny. Okay, so we lose to this team. Quite convincingly. Because they're going to have a bigger dog. Nothing we could do there. 
Hmm. Now this could be interesting. What happens if we get rid of you and we do something like this? And we just completely pivot. And we just push Lionfish. Because if we switch the stats around, if we can get the health on the Lionfish high and we flip the stats around, then this could be pretty fun. It does render our... Ah, oh, you get a Nyala. It does render our guinea fowl useless, but I kind of like this pivot. I think this could be kind of fun. So let's roll. Kind of want more lionfish if we can find them. We're just gonna we're just gonna hold hog it. We're just gonna go for it here. Uh, roll and roll. Okay, we'll send it like this. I'd be keen to find maybe one more moose and then just run two lionfish, a hyena, two lionfish, and a moose. I mean, that's the downside. We're gonna lose the teams which have got saber tooth pitter. Like we we don't beat those teams. Um. Let's roll. Oh, we did find a pill. Moose. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully, we find a moose. We do. That's huge, in fact. Bring you in. Hold and hold. Roll. Now we're just rolling for the ones. Which we get a few of them. What a, what a massive turn that is. Okay, so this, this could get a little wild. Because we're going to distribute a lot of stats. And then what we're going to do is... I mean, look how big this, this lionfish at the front is now. It's going to be a 38 attack. So when we flip the stats around... It does it does some work. It does some work. This this could this pivot is certainly an interesting one. Um right, we want to just stack up the lionfish ultimately. We could just save all these ones and just go again. We could just do this. Um keep rolling. There's another one. Now we just want foods. Let's do this one as well. Okay, let's distribute the stats around. Okay, you're nearly to the max. We we could do with getting you to level 2 now. So flip everything around. Okay, so skunks are definitely ruining us. This doesn't work against a skunk team. That is one thing that I'm noticing. We 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 lose to a skunk team. Um so let's roll. Put this onto you. Do this. Roll it roll it i guess we could hold you and roll it again okay no no pivot this time we do have a 50 attack lionfish at the front we get an, we get skunked again but it's fine because this time we were able to we we're able to go first with the hyena and that we absolutely destroyed that team um okay so i mean i'm just gonna look for the the, the lionfish here I don't think we need another moose. I think I'm just looking for lionfish. We could do this, I guess. Okay. We don't find it, but I think this could be enough. I think this could be enough. Okay. And now this team should just destroy it, really. Oh, we, we don't quite get it done. No, we don't quite get it done. I thought I thought we could get that done. So another lionfish. We we'll do this for the stats. Roll, roll. We we don't get it. Like I I we're so close. We're so close. We're so close to getting this over the line. One more lionfish here, I think, makes a big difference. We may lose to this team because of the spawns. Oh, it's wild. <laughs> it is wild. It's not quite how I foresaw this playing out, but we do get it done. And there it is. There it is. It's a pretty interesting build. I mean, the pivot away from the guinea fowl, probably not the most optimal, but I kind of wanted to go for something a little bit more fun.
And I think this, this is just that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, maybe like and subscribe. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.